So let's take a look at the state of the galaxy after our three player game of High Frontier. First up, there were three players, myself, Adam and Patrick. I was playing the United Nations uh, with their ability to gain one water um, tank after any player places a claim or establishes a factory and I had safe er a passage through Earth's radiation belt which is I think a very powerful faction ability. Adam was playing the People's Republic of China and their ability uh, was to may they may claim jump steel water and decommission crew and may also move the politics uh, marker from anarchy to war as required and Patrick was playing the European Space Agency whose ability gave them a beamed power plus one thrust any rocket during any player turn. Okay, taking a look at the uh, state of the galaxy. Uh, looking at myself in the game, I managed to get claims successfully uh, in the Mars region, two claims, plus uh, industrialize on one of those, and a claim uh, in the NASA family region and successfully industrialized there. Um, that along with my um, points from my uh, resource exploration track, I ended up with 17 points. Not too flash, but pretty much par the, for the course for me. Uh, I struggle with this game. The um, intellectual or mental capacity is tested on me regards this one. Um, and I don't think I've ever won a game yet. So taking a look at uh, Adam's situation, Adam uh, was the last to uh, get into orbit in this game. He took quite some time and when he did he got uh, eventually to the moon uh, and made a successful claim there and um, industrialized. Uh, but then he set his sights much further out into space and progressed out to the Saturn region and spent most of his um, game out there making successful and unsuccessful prospecting uh, roles. So he ended up with uh, three, four claims out uh, in deep space. And um, he ended up the, ga the game with um, 25 points, which also included the uh, seven points victory for space tourism, uh, the, the first person to claim three V sites. So that's Adam. And as for the European Space Agency, Patrick's game was um, centered around the Vesta family and the Giffion family, where he made one, two, three, four successful claims and industrialized three times. Um, but he also um, scored glory points for being the first to reach a science site. Um, and that was um, the most commonly one there, Eureka. And he also scored glory points for um, being the first to any site and back. Again, Eureka. And on the uh, space politics track, he ended up with five points uh, when the ESA had the anti-nuke all reactors discarded from hands policy, which certainly hurt Adam and I to a certain extent. So, uh, Patrick ending up on 35 points, I think it was. So that's our state of play at the end of our three-player game of High Frontier. I think that game took us about five hours, uh, probably due to the fact we hadn't played for such a long time. But very interesting uh, game, as I said earlier, that I very much enjoy, but do struggle with because of the, um, <laughs> it tests my mental liberty, uh, ability to the limit. So, thanks for watching. See you later.